Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to pair a Bluetooth speaker or Bluetooth headphone to your Apple TV. Let's get started. To kick things off, the first thing we want to do is make sure that our speaker is ready to be paired or if you're using headphones, same deal, make sure it's on and ready to be paired. So if you have a Bluetooth button, press that. Just when you see the light flashing, it should be ready to go. For these two, I just had to power them on. Once you're ready there, you want to scroll down on your Apple TV to the settings application, click on that, and from here what we're going to do is scroll to where it says remotes and devices. Open that up, and from this screen, you want to scroll down to where it says Bluetooth, and then from here you should see your devices appear. Now it'll take a little bit of time depending how far you are from your Apple TV, but as you saw here, it just took seconds. So for this example, we'll just go ahead and click on the speaker, and we'll go ahead and connect to that. So it's connected and you can see on screen I can actually control the volume with my Apple TV remote. So just to give you an example of how this sounds and that it is coming through the speaker, I'll show you on screen here. So I've got a video playing here, we'll just play it. You can hear the sounds coming from the speaker. I can lower the speaker, I can raise the speaker. The dark side. Now if you're connecting to headphones, you can easily connect to them just like you did with the speaker. So they've already found the headphones, I can go ahead and click on them and it'll pair with the headphones and it should disconnect the speaker automatically so that way I don't hear sound from the speaker and the headphones at the same time. So there you go, the headsets have now connected and again you can control the volume on the headsets with your Apple TV remote. And just to give you guys a little bit more information here, if you do scroll back a couple of pages back to where you see the general tab, scroll to where it says audio and video and you'll be able to control where the sound comes from quicker. So if you open the audio output here, you can see that because the Zorro 2s are connected, it's got a check mark. But if I wanted to jump back to the Apple TV quick, I could just jump back, click on that. I don't have to disconnect my headphones or anything. And if I want to move back to the headphones at any time, I can just click on them that way. So it's a little bit quicker for you once you have your device paired. So I hope you found this video helpful and enjoyable and if you're looking for speakers you can see I have a whole bunch on top of my TV as well as headphones here. I've done a lot of reviews on some good ones. Some are cheaper than others. You heard the sound from this little one here was pretty decent considering TV sounds these days. So if you're looking for something on a budget you can find that too and just improve your overall sound. If you have any questions about this video feel free to leave them in the comments. I answer every comment that comes my way. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and favorite the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.